So it's 8.15 and welcome everybody to the CRED 15 at 8.15. My name is Rona McDonald. I have the pleasure of being your co-host this morning with Kendra Strudwick. So at CRED 15, we want to create a space where we support you to help you navigate this time, to help you feel like you are supported. You've got a community of people who are here every morning and every evening. You've got Kendra and myself to make you feel like you do have a connection. And hopefully use this time without pressure to build some habits that you can use going forward. We hope in this 15 minutes, you can feel, leave feeling a bit more calm, feeling connected, and hopefully a bit more positive. Before I hand over to Kendra, just some very brief housekeeping. We do want to make this as interactive as possible. So we, we invite and encourage you to participate. After some reflective exercises, we will invite you to type your responses into the chat box. And for those of you joining on Facebook Live, please feel free to use the best way to support you for our exercises today. Kendra, I'd love to hand over to you to lead us off in our session today. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Let's start with our, our usual arrival activity that we do in the mornings and breathe deep from the belly, nice big breath. And exhale. Breathe again. Smile. Relax and arrive where you are. Be natural and open to effortlessness, to being rather than doing. Drop everything, let go, and arrive. Now we're here, let's just check in to what emotions might be present for us. Just like the weather, we'll take the temperature of the day. There might be one emotion that's sitting quite strongly with you, or it might be a combination of emotions. Notice your energy levels. Are they a bit red, amber or green today? Double click into some of the sensations that are there and see if you can identify and name them. We call this name them to tame them. Take a moment to notice and if you feel comfortable too and you're able to, type how you're feeling in the chat box for us. If you're listening on Facebook Live, you know, speak it out loud. What's there for you today? I notice I've woken up with a mild irritation. Not sure what that is. Ronan's feeling grateful and optimistic. Optimistic seems to be a common thread for people today. Got people keen to get going and do some work. <laughs> Mickey G's who, who's homeschooling the kids. <laughs> So wherever you are, just notice it, be with it, and take time to check in with your physical body during the day, notice how you're feeling. Yeah. Let's move into our focus areas. So the three things that we're encouraging you to build some habit and self-care strategies around. Ronan, where would we like to focus and dwell a little bit deeper today? I think we should focus on the area of connect today, Kendra, and have a bit of a deep dive into that area. So I've been doing some reflecting around the importance of people who support you, mentor you, and have got your back. As we all know, Dara has described me as when I introduce you, Kendra, as my trainer, my mentor, and my friend. But I've been very lucky to have an amazing amount of people around me in my life to support me. And Without all jokes aside, I wouldn't be doing this session if it wasn't for, for Kendra's support over a number of years. I recently sat down and wrote out a list of the people who have supported me over the years, who have taken a chance, given me an opportunity, believed in me, helped me believe in myself, 
and I really haven't got, got my back. So when I do this exercise with clients, I invite them to think around, think about who's got your back. Many of us can be suffer from self-doubt and fear, imposter syndrome, and we might go into that in some detail. But Kendra, I'd like to have a conversation around that. And if you were able to share maybe some of your experiences and of, of people who have supported you, and if we can share some of the, the science about the, the importance of connection in that sense. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is. So what's top of me mind for me as I, I hear you share some of your story is um, you know, one of the, the signs of happiness uh, is who have you got that you could call at two or three o'clock in the morning and you know would pick up. <laughs> uh, and uh, I know that's slightly different to having a mentor or someone that believes in you. But I think we have different people that come into our lives that um, offer different types of support. Um, and I too have been quite fortunate. So, you know, I think about the people that you know, might have taken a risk on me. In the early days, I didn't present as the polished trainer or presenter. I didn't have a training background. Uh, I didn't have a corporate background. And so I, I had a couple of um, managers that took a risk and went, you know what, I think Kendra would be really great at this. Um, that helped me change careers, helped me back, back myself. Uh, I think about the concept of who's in your room. Um, so I work with a lot of business owners and, and teach them how to network. And one of the, the metaphors that we use is if the people that you come into contact with in your life, if you were to open the door and they were never able to leave, who would you be mindfully letting into your room? <laughs> who perhaps would not be in the room? Who would you like to leave? Uh, so I, I think it's uh, while we're socially isolating, we can take time to think and appreciate who we've got that's there and, and let them know that we appreciate them and the difference that they've made. And perhaps it's an opportunity for us to clean house and um, to respectfully say, you know, thank you for your, for your service to those folks and, and, and know that um, we're going to put them outside the door because they're not adding value to our lives or they're not... Um, people that uh, are values aligned or for whatever reason and so it's not about cutting people off from your life it's just about choosing to spend time and focus on those that uh, really enrich you so that's where my head went with today's topic Ronan thanks Ken for sharing uh, I'd, I like the idea of maybe respectful exclu exclusion as well because I think we're there's a lot of noise at the moment and making sure that we we surround ourselves with people who really do have our back. So maybe we'll invite people just to reflect and spend a couple of seconds in silence reflecting on who has got your back. We're not asking you to, to type a list of people, but just take some time for yourself to think about it. And just to build on that one bit more, some of you may be aware of a beautiful ad that was on TV here a couple of months ago when the Australian soccer team, the women's soccer team, the Matildas, qualified for the World Cup. And they did a, a campaign to write a letter back to a significant coach who supported them when they were younger and learning to play football. And they filmed the person receiving the letter, opening the letter, and reading the letter and the amazing impact it had on them to express that level of gratitude. So our invitation to you today is, could you think of maybe one person who has played a significant role in your life? And could you reach out today or tomorrow in the coming days and call them and thank them? Or write a letter 
<laughs> forgotten how to write letters. I haven't penned a letter for years. That's a great idea, Rodan. I think I'll do that. My handwriting is terrible, but I will. I've got to, I've got to write a letter. I have got to write a letter. Kendra, I'd invite you to if, yeah, complete the scan of our focus areas, if you wouldn't mind, please. Certainly. So for many of us, it's the, the start of the day. For some people, it might be the end of the day. I invite you to choose um, a context for today. How do you want to show up? So context is an umbrella intention that you might um, take time to reflect on a few times throughout the day. So do you want to follow Rav's lead and, and set the context of um, achievement today? I, I want to make my day count and achieve. Uh, do you want to set the context of um, joy? I really want to be joyful today. Perhaps it's curious. I really want to learn today. So set a context of being for the day. What would you like that to be? If you'd like to type into the chat box and share your context for the day, please do. Sometimes this happens non-consciously. So for example, if it's a if it's a cloudy, rainy day, we look outside and we go, oh, blah. Guess what? We've put that out there. We're much more likely to manifest more blur for the day. So it's been a non-conscious, conscious choice, perhaps, of our, our context. So I'm inviting you to be really clear around what's your context of being for today. Ronan's going to be curious. Nice. My context is to be easy to do business with today. I don't want to over-engineer stuff. I want to be easy to do business with today. And our second focus area is move. So we know the importance of physical exercise and activity. I was just reading that um, it, it not only has so many benefits, but one of the, the other benefits I wasn't aware of was that um, when we elevate our, our heart rate, um, it replicates the symptoms or the environment of stress. And so the more you experience that, the less you're derailed by stressful environments. It kind of makes sense, but I've never seen it positioned exactly in that way. So how can you move your back body and make yourself more resilient as a result? If you haven't pushed yourself this week, maybe today's the day to do it. Add an extra kilometer onto that run. Add 10 more extra sit-ups. Whatever the case might be, how can you stretch and move your body today? Take a few moments to think about that. Again, write it down so you don't forget. And Ronan's given us that challenge of who can we reach out to and perhaps even write a letter to and thank for the difference that they've made, mentors, those that are in our corner, those that are loyal. How do we let them know? And how are we showing up for others? So is there someone that might need you in their corner to hold the towel and mop their brow? Maybe they're in the ring. Or maybe they just need to know that you're there. And hey, you know, I'm one of your biggest fans. You may not know that. I just wanted to take time to tell you. So who can you connect with today? So now you have your three key goals for the day. We look forward to uh, seeing you all at uh, 5.15 this evening. It's now top of the time, so we will bid you farewell. We will also keep the lines open just in case there's any questions that you might have. Thanks for being here, folks. See you tonight. Thank you.